gives this beast a shade as well. No, you've got to stop this. Tool, hope to stand against the Shadow Lord. I don't want to hurt my friends. Kill him, you glorious bastard. I have a reason to live. Here we go. I need to turn out bait. I haven't actually started route bait, so here we go. What, baby? Gally, what? <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Ready to install. Hello. I'm not right now, you're not PS5. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe... My mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. All right, baby, get down. I love you. I love you too. Anyway. Kelly. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Of rain filled the village. The sheep puffs the stern. I'm going to read all this. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Bye. 
Brooks. This is the one. Get a new one. Get a new glass spoon. Ice spoon, whatever they are. Plastic, but you don't like to call them that. And <laughs> we see where Connie learned her language from. Ooh! I can see where she got her language and attitude now from. Death is the best cure for stupid. Yeah, you only need one. Don't, you needed a spoon, not a fork, you butt. Hello, Doc. Oh, it's wonderful. It's my game of the year. 100% this is my game of the year. Unless Final Fantasy 16 comes out, this is probably my game of the year. It's so good. It made 
It's so good. Uh, no, they just help with interactions. They don't really give me anything. They're just good for like outside interactions. That's pretty much all they're for. It's just to help chat interact with the streamer. Oh, go put that back. We're not getting cupcakes. Go put it away. I don't want it either. Gosh. But yeah, this is my game of the year so far. It's the only game so far that's made me stream on weekends, like, because I don't want to stop streaming it. Good. I still wish Drakengard would get a remaster. My wish is Drakengard. This did so well, I'm hoping Drakengard. Next. Just one, just the first one. That's the only one that connects to Nier, so that's the only one that matters. Yeah. OPS, I swear I'm gonna punch you. You have been a butt for the last week. He is. Thank you. I mean, the person who did the director wants to remaster Neat Drakengard, so it's not like he doesn't. He wants to do it, but Square has to pay for it. And there's plenty of fans that want it. So it could happen. It's only been 20 years. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's up to Square to give him the money he needs to do it because it's obviously gonna take a lot- this probably took a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Which, people seem to be really positive because there's such good reviews of Nier that they're gonna go back and make at least Drakengard 1. That's all that matters, is Drakengard 1. I'm just confused why it never ended up on the PSN store. Because, like, Dark Cloud was on the P Jack and Daxter. All these PS2 games are on the PSN store. I don't understand why Drakengard 1 and 2 weren't, because they're PS2 games. Just put the games- Yeah! Just put them on the- I don't even need a remake. I don't need a remake. I don't need a remaster. I still think Drakengard is beautiful. I don't give a shit about better graphics. Just put it on the store! So I can play it! On stream! It's been a while since I played Drakengard. I never got- And they don't even have 3! 3 was on PS3. I never got to play 3. At least put that one on here for me. <laughs> just, just if you're gonna remake any, just remake the first one though, because that's the only one that connects directly into Nier. It's the only one that matters. Seeing where Kane got her fucking language from. <laughs> Take your goddamn- I'm not gonna stop swinging my axe. Just don't get close so I don't cut you. You Assassin's Creed for update. I don't care right now. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, like, Square Enix games, I think, always look good to me. Like... I went back and watched some of the cutscenes, and the cutscenes looked just like Final Fantasy X's cutscenes because they came out around the same time. And Final Fantasy X was like really fucking beautiful. The Dragon Guard's really beautiful. Like some of the like backgrounds aren't as good anymore, but that's okay. Like if I want to play a nostalgia game, I'm gonna play it for nostalgia. I could still play Final Fantasy VII original, and I don't give a shit about the graphics. Ah, oh, they are gods when it comes to CGI. The cutscenes are always so pretty. Yeah, and Drakengard was kind of like the same thing with like, for a PS2 game, it had really good fucking CGI. Yeah, I think, I think, I also think that if your fans are fans enough that the graphics aren't gonna matter. Oh. 
OBS is really being a butt with frame rate today. Not want to stay steady. and plays good, it doesn't matter. And like, Drakengar was like a cult game, like not that many people knew about it, about it but the people that did were obsessed with it, aka me <laughs> and my small circle of friends. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think. I never thought Skyrim or Oblivion were that pretty. I did enjoy Oblivion though. because I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I'm just curious what happened to grandmother because I figured out the rest on my own. Probably a heart attack. Something like that. Nature shit. Ooh, I like I like some good nature shit. It's always good. I'm trying to finish a Monster Hunter Rise before tomorrow. It is not happening. I've got like six more monsters, and I have to do some collecting. It's not happening. I'm just gonna have to be behind on the update. <laughs> comparison because like in mythology Irish otters have these like they're the size of a hound and they have these huge ass fangs and they kill things and when you say otters not to be mistaken with an otter I think of that I think of a giant dog sized otter with fangs and yeah that would make sense for hunting crocodiles <laughs> but those are Irish fairies and I don't think it's the same concept at all that's what I'm gonna picture in my head Absolutely what I'm gonna picture in my head. <laughs> yeah, a dog sized otter with sharp enough teeth and sharp enough meat to crocodiles. Oh, okay. Oh wow, that is a big boy. Yeah, I mean, 
like all these fairy myths had to like start somewhere so that makes sense that that they would be like oh the big ass otters <laughs> just give them fangs cool are they cute though are they still cute I have a phone. What the fuck am I doing with my life? I could just Google it. I'm gonna look it up. I'll look it up right now. I had a text. I'll be back. Went to work. South America, I'm assuming like the Amazon kind of place. Love it. They look exactly like a Dover Chew, but without the fangs. I remember the name of the fucking gigantic otters. <laughs> They're called Dover Chews. I'm probably not saying that right because Irish words are fucking weird. That's a I love it. I would want- oh my god, look at that thing stand up. I love otters, so this is just like everything I want in my life. I otter. I love the little patch of white right here. They've got- It's a baby one! It's so cute. I mean, they're even cute when they've got blood on their face. They're just adorable. Cute things to avoid. They're adorable. God, I love I love otters. That made my day, Doc. I love it. Love it. I love nature. take down a crocodile and it's cute and adorable absolutely no longer afraid of crocodile my mo I don't think crocodiles are ever my most feared what is my most feared animal I have to say I'm pretty scared of like scorpions but that's because I would rather be able to see a creature coming at me than this tiny little thing like big scorpions are fine because they can't kill you but like little scorpions, I've had little scorpions chase me and they're fucking terrifying because you might not even make it to the hospital. So, not into that. I think scorpions might be my most feared. Sun spiders are also nasty little shits that will chase you for no reason. They're aggressive. Actually, anything in Australia scares me. I'm never going to Australia. Kangaroos, no. <laughs> Nuh uh. Someone showed a video where like a spider coming out of the door and I was just like, no thank you. Yeah, see I've never seen a brown recluse or black widow. Like I know we have them here. I've just never seen them. I've seen scorpions and I've seen like daddy long legs are everywhere. You know, I had a friend who was afraid of daddy long legs and I never understood because they're harmless. I was like, they can't, their teeth aren't solid enough to bite humans. I think, yeah, I think, I think anything in Australia is here for me. Why is that? Bite is not a word that I have blocked! My 
I'm just not a word that I have blocked. Nightbot. What? <laughs> Which? I don't have that word in my block thing. <laughs> of all the things. Yeah, yeah, I have brown recluse especially because it like rots at the wounds, your skin rots away. That's just gross. I've seen some, I've had friends who've seen black widows. But they're pretty like fine as long as you don't get near them. Wolf spiders aren't fun, not here. is nice. Yeah, uh, sun spiders are the only aggressive ones that we have here. Like, they'll just chase you for no reason. Like, I remember Brute coming home and he was like, he's like, there was a spider all the way against the wall on the other side of the parking lot and it came at us. <laughs> like, they just want to, like, he stepped on it, obviously, because, like, sun spider's only, like, this big. He wears, like, metal boots. So. steel toed boots, but, yeah. Yeah, but most spiders are just, like, chillin'. We have a little, like, Lucas spy- I call it Lucas spiders because they look like Lucas the spider, and she'll just stare at them in the window. Like, sometimes at night we get bit because spiders do that shit. But it's fine. His name is Kali. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, yeah. I only have issues with like certain bugs, like I never liked cockroaches. I like hissing cockroaches. For some reason, the big-ass huge cockroaches, I'm like, oh, cool. Crawl on me. I don't mind that. But fucking little-ass cockroaches, I hate them. Mostly because they get into everything. But like everything else, I'm just like, you cool. Yeah, they just... Um, and they don't really help keep anything else away. They just make get into everything and disgust me. Like... Yeah. 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 There was a nest. There was a nest in the walls of the apartment. I don't know which apartment it was, but it's in this building. And like, they sprayed like six times and it did nothing. We had to get those traps that they take back to the nest. And it kills it. And we still have to do that because they'll pop up. We have to buy more because I've seen like two of them and I'm like, no! Go away! <laughs> Hate them. Like, I don't have a fear of them anymore, though. As a little kid, I would scream if there were cockroaches. Like, I would scream so bad. Like, I hated cockroaches. Right? Like, no, not the cockroaches. I don't like butterflies that much, but I was traumatized as a kid because my mom thought the easiest way to get me over my fear of bugs was to take me to one of those places where they have like 2,000, 20,000. Like, it's like 2,000 to 20,000 butterflies in like a glass globe. You go inside and there's just butterflies in your face? I was four. 
I was four years old and my mom decided, hey, we're gonna make her get over her fear by forcing her to stay in her room for 30 minutes with butterflies in her face. And you're not allowed to, like, you're not allowed to freak out. I'm sure as an adult it'd be fine, but like, as a little kid who already had a fear of bugs, it was a traumatizing experience in my life. I screamed the entire time. And they made me, my mom, take me out. Like, Jelly would love it, probably. She loves fucking butterflies, man. She chases butterflies. She'd probably adore being in a room full of butterflies. I do not. I like butterflies more than I like moths, though, because we've had moths that are, like, this big, and I'm like, I don't know how to get rid of it. How do you get rid of something that's this big? Like... My cat can't eat it. It's bigger than his head. Butterflies don't get that big here, but moths, no. I've had one that's like this big. Just chilling on the lawn and I'm like, I hate you. Why? How did you even get in? Where? How do I get you out? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I just say, my mom did not have good judgment on trying to get me over fears because she would just do exactly what I was afraid of, but like a million times intense. I've definitely had a different approach for it. Like, if Jelly's afraid of something, I'll let her just figure it out on her own, and eventually she becomes not afraid of it. Like, she used to have a fear of heights. There is! I've seen some really pretty ones, like the white ones that look like a Pokemon. Adorable. You know what I love? You know what animal I love? Bats. I fucking love bats. We get bats near the house, and one like flew over my head and I was like, just, just come closer, let me touch you. I love bats. We have the hummingbird feeder outside, and bats will just sit on it and eat it, and it's the best goddamn thing. Love them! They're so cute! Oh, poor Kane. It's your first drawing, sweetie. Yeah, we have fruit bats. That's what we have mostly here. I think we have a couple of vampire bats from Mexico, but I don't think we get them as much in Sierra Vista as, like, like, Arizona only gets them in certain parts. I love them. We had a whole bunch for graduation, and everyone would scream, and I'd be the only one who's just like, yes, bats. I love bats. <laughs> came from the heart and I'll treasure it always. I don't get the fear either, like, especially because we have most, like, I understand people having a fear of, like, vampire bats because they carry diseases and stuff, but, like, fruit bats and shit, they won't bite you. Yeah, like, fruit bats are pretty much harmless. You could hold fruit bats, usually, and they're very, like, human-friendly. Like, there's only, like, one or two species of bats that are, like, biters, and then we don't have them here. It's like people don't like rats, but I grew up having rats as pets, so I adore rats. Bats are the same thing, but they have wings. They're adorable, and they make adorable faces. I've had rats, I've had mice, I've had hamsters, I've had gerbils, I want to have guinea pigs. I've had ferrets. Like, I love those kind of creatures that people don't normally like. Jelly wants a lizard really bad. Maybe one day we'll get her a lizard when I don't think she's gonna smush it. Aww, her grandmother's so nice. 
supposed to love kids drawings even if they're you can't make out what they are I have like 12 kids drawings on the fridge <laughs> I love rats no oh no not yeah not in the wild yeah no they're nasty in the wild but like pet rats like domesticated rats they cuties they very sweet and they put things in their cheek and they go but I love that It's like when I see a squirrel, I'm like, you're cute, but don't get the fuck near me. You guys are mean. <laughs> this is the longest opening to a game, and I know I've been talking, which is making it longer, but oh my god, there's so much reading. <laughs> I know they want to do backstory, but we couldn't do like cutscene backstory. If you want me to eat a bug, it's a berry. Yeah, like if we're in the car and we drive by and there's a squirrel on the tree, I'm like, oh, Jelly, look. But I'm like, I'm not getting close to that shit. <laughs> like, I've seen people that, like, try to chase squirrels to pet them, and I'm like, you are gonna get scratched. Or bit. You dumb. Stop it. That's true, yeah, that's also very true. Yeah. Yeah, man. And we don't even have raccoons in the town. Like, we have, in the city over, there's raccoons, but not here. I've never actually seen a raccoon here. But we have a lot of people that put locks and stuff on their trash, so it's a lot harder for raccoons to get in places here. Even businesses lock the trash at night. So it's like, we're prepared to not have raccoons getting into our shit. So I know they haven't said it, but Connie's not a girl completely. Like, I ran across this before this part, but they've kind of hinted at it because the boys in the village make fun of her for having parts she shouldn't have and pretending to be a girl. So I think she's both genders? Like, she has the boobs, but then she has the other parts. But they haven't, like, outright stated that, it, that she's not just a girl. Like, she wants to be a girl, and then she wants to be a girl, she's a girl, but they kind of hinted at that she's different. And that it's a struggle to be accepted. I thought it was because she's part shade, but I don't think at this part in the game she was part shade yet. Yeah, that's true. I've just never seen a raccoon, except on TV. I appreciate, like, that it was only, like, a brief moment where they kind of went over the fact that she's got both parts, and then they're like, but she's a girl. And that she is. She's a very hot girl. <laughs> With a very naughty mouth, and I love her. I 
I don't doubt that. Mm. Gee, I wonder. They do look super cute on TV, like... It's like hummingbirds. We have a bunch of hummingbirds here. You would never guess that hummingbirds are fucking aggressive little shits. Like, they will attack you. Like, if I don't feed that- fill that feeder, they will come close, bitch at you, and then, like, dive bomb you for food. They are nasty. They're cute as fuck, though. Cute little birds. They're nasty. Yeah. That's true. Uh, when Bert used to work up in a state over- not state, city over- uh, as a night guard, they would throw rocks and stuff to make him go look a different direction so they could continue going through the garbage. So, they also clever little shits. Not Alzheimer's. Oh my god. Which just does not like any of the words that I don't have a problem with. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Which is probably why I don't see them when walking around, because I don't go any places that a raccoon would be. grandmother. A fire! Enormous shade. I was wondering how she gets the half shade part. This is the lizard from Earth that we fought in, uh... Oh, baby? Yes, I yeah. You watching a film? Okay. Okay, hello. Love you. I love you, too. Dark. Goodbye, bye. Okay, bye-bye. So oh, speaking of like a dragon, how far did you get in all your weapon collecting and stuff? I will do that business list. I am the worst. Write a fucking note. I'm gonna write a note to myself to do that. I'm gonna put it right in front of me. I don't fucking forget. I am so the worst.
big letters. There, I won't forget now. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Hey, I love you, I love you too. No more throwing that around or I'm going to put it away. Being a poker now. Okay, I've got three more weapons to get and they're all in this playthrough. we got to figure out how to do it. Beast approaches. Oh, I know. I only gameplay. <laughs> only taken forty minutes. Oh, we're not playing as Kane. I really thought the game was going to play have us play as Kane. Okay, so we're just gonna play as him the whole time for every playthrough. That's kind of lame. What anger this creature must have! I thought it was gonna be like I'll automatic where you switch characters. These past five years. I'm not gonna let Maybe this it still happen is. Again. Maybe just after this death. fight. My sword feels lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down. <laughs> So much of an expedition dump. I really thought it was gonna be like Automata. And then you would you would play as Connie and then you would play as a meal. That's kind of a gem. I really enjoyed that about Automata, that you could play as the other characters. I'm so strong. Ah, oh. I hit it once and it died. I am so strong. Oh my god. his combat so it's fine to play as him but I was very curious to see her combat that's true though I will say Ignis's gameplay is so fucking fun in battle like I love it I like Ignis's combat a lot I mean that's true and look at this the same fucking voice actor and the combat's still fun <laughs> Oh my god, is this gonna be all talking? Oh my god, we're back to this again. 
What is this route? I really didn't expect this. I wasn't even talking about his DLC. Um, they released a download where you can play as the other characters. So, but his DLC was fun too. Yeah, that's true. I will say, if you just do like the plot. Not too bad. Like, I, my, because I've played like Final Fantasy 15 like four times, three times on stream. Because I love it. Yeah. But only just to Gladdy Daddy. <laughs> Gladdy Daddy, that's a great one. I did them all because I wanted to see it. I really like Ignis's, especially his spear. I think mean, it's fun ass combat. That's disgusting. Sunshine? So the town hated her before she even was part shade. Which the thing with the shades bothers me because they have such complaints about the shades, but what ending A explained basically means you should accept the shades. Ugh, people are weird in this game. Oh, they're not even hiding what the shades are in this run. They're like, you finished run A. <laughs> you get to know what the shades, you know what the shades are. We're not even going to bother hiding it anymore. And hiding what they want. games like this were like, I knew what the shades were. They didn't try to pull any, like, fast shit on me and change what they were. They gave very clear hints to what they were. And I like that. I like games like that. cat. Oh. I see you. I will say, out of all the DLC for 15, Ignis's was my favorite. I did kind of like, um, that guy. Name is escaping me. Why? Brain. Why are you doing this to me right now? 
liked his too, but I really liked Ignis's. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like, when I played FF15, I had to, like, make sure I had no other games. Like, it was during a game drought, because it just made sense to play it during that time when I had nothing else. Prompto is best boy! His was very good, too. I liked all of the DLC. I think they all were- I think they all should have been part of the main story, because, like, the way they flow, if you know where to put them in the story, is perfect. Like, it's so good. Okay, baby. Ow. I can pet you without you nipping me. Oh my god. Oh, thing. Oh. Yeah, they do. They do. I was like trying to think. Been a while. <laughs> they do. I'm so glad I didn't decide to read this out loud because I would have been really pissed off by now. <laughs> and I'm probably sure people are like, why aren't you reading it? But um, it's too much. Too much for me. My throat would hurt by now. Don't give a goddamn who you murder, honey pants. My curiosity is, is this her shade? Because their language is very similar to each other. Or did she get this language more from the shade? Okay! Play a game now, you silly. You need help with. Okay, be right back. Adorable, she's playing Witcher. It's the only one in my game show play is Witcher, and she's just running around chasing wolves and murdering them, but it's cute. And every time they kill her, she's like, oh, meanie. <laughs>
I feel really bad for Connie. Alive. Alive. Stay alive. That doesn't Stay surprise alive. me. Like the nature shows I've seen where they attack each other for food. Kaine, you gotta live! You gotta come back to us! Explains like the wrapping around her arm and leg. Show which part the shade took over. Emil, you were the one calling me. Yes. Weren't you? Yeah, kids are babies. Uh, because raccoons are cat like, they call them kids. Because they're not quite cat like. They're cat like enough. Thank Foxes you. are also called Kine. kids, I think. Welcome back. That seems to be a popular Kine. nature thing, is getting attacked by other well, adults of the species you when you're up. a baby. So, how long has it been? Five years. <laughs> he got sexy, Kane. And he's voiced by Ray Chase, which makes it even sexier. <laughs> Any luck with Yona? We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Her hair. Well, she's cute. Kind of has a crush on Akira. Kaine waking from her long petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one. And we let it wash over us like rain. That's actually very impressive. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. I appreciate the voice difference Ray Chase did with his anger, because usually when a character gets angry, I can hear Noctis in it. But he, like, tried to make the anger come out differently. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? It's parts like that, though, where I'm like, that's Noctis. People are afraid of us, and really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. It never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. Directly after Emil got turned. I didn't get much sleep that night. Emil. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. I fall off the table, cat. I'm gonna laugh at you. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. Should. But those feelings are Don't remember again. Route A? Eh? Have so much doubt. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. Protect it from the horror of the shades. <laughs> really, how can I blame Devil and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. 
because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. I've never actually seen one in my life, even though I want to, because they look adorable. I should apologize to Kaine and Emil, but what good would that even do? I got a fire going, Kaine. Wait, is that? Campfires are weird, aren't they? Oh, this wasn't in the original the playthrough one. I like foxes; they're cute looking. I've heard foxes. I'm so happy to get to talk to you again, Kaine. Yeah. Me too. I tried everything I could think of to save you, you know. I polished you with a special cloth. I poured warm water over you. I... Aww, I love that. I love Fox Face puppies. Wait, you poured water Aww. on me? <laughs> yeah, but it didn't really do much except make you all shiny. Hey, Emil. Thanks for saving me. I guess you noticed how I look different now. I'm sorry, Emil. I'm sorry for all of it. Well, I mean, this new form isn't all bad, you know? At least I can look at you when we talk, right? Hey, so why don't you tell me something about yourself? I'm not very interesting. Sorry. Come on. I just want to know you better. Please? Fine. This all happened when I was a kid, before the whole shade possession thing. My body is different. Talk about and it. when the villagers found out about it, they started treating me like a freak. But one person, my grandmother, accepted me just as I was. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna. I'll just. He. Do you remember before that he couldn't look at people because he turned them to stone? Well, he was part of this, like, Project Gestalt thing where they experimented on children to make them weapons. So he got the power to turn people to stone. His sister turned into this giant skeletal monster thingy. So he fused with his sister, and we had to kill his sister so that he could fuse with her. So he fused his own powers with his sister's so that he would have more control over his magic, his eyes. So it turned him into a skeleton thing because that was what his sister was. And so, yeah, it, it basically turned him into that. Which I find very curious because Emil is in Automata. And I was wondering how he turned into that because I was like, I've seen Emil. And I don't think it would have spoiled it for Grey because Emil is in Automata. So, like, there was always this part of me and Grey that probably knew that Emil was going to do this. We just didn't know how. Yeah, it's very sad. I feel bad for Emil. I feel bad for all the characters. They just need hugs and affection. Thank Jesus. Emil's also immortal. He will. He wasn't aging, which is very reminiscent of Drakengard and making a pact to get magic, lose like the ability to age or the ability to talk, stuff like that. No matter how bad things got, she gave me the strength to keep going. It's gotta be a shock for this poor kid, though, because turning into something so vastly different than himself. But, like, Akira and her had no problem accepting him, which I think is great. She's really special to you, huh? Yeah. I'm very curious about Anamata, because Anamata, he's just a head. There's no body on a meal. He's a floating head. I'm like, how did you get there? From this? Because he's just like a head that rolls around. And I'm so fucking curious. Oh, hey. That gives me an idea. Like, he has no plot relevance in Automata. At all. Like, he's an optional thing that you don't even have to do. But he's there. Yeah, Komodo. I've been, we got to actually pet Komodo dragons in, I think it was a college 
biology trip. Like, they had their mouths taped shut, I think it was, like they do with crocodiles, where they, like, tape the mouth shut so they don't bite. And we got to pet them. They feel really cool. They feel like... Have you ever pet a sucker fish, like the Poloctomuses? Like, they're really spiny. Komodo dragons are kind of spiny, but they're also kind of rough. But they feel cool. This thing was huge, like Jesus. Since we cured your petrification, we should start looking for a way to cure your possession and my body. I know we can do it if we all work together. Heck, it'll probably be super easy. Emil's so positive after everything. Let me guess. More warm water? Okay. Can we just forget I told you about that? <laughs> I also love that Square made like a gay character and like someone who has two genders but wants to be one gender. And they didn't really like, they didn't press it in your face. Like, they didn't overdo it to the point that it turned negative, basically. So, because some games just do too much and it becomes negative. Especially because of how Emil looks, some people might have gotten upset, but it's just nicely touched on. Like, gently touched on. It's like, this is how they are. You're going to accept it because this is here. And it just is. I like that. I like, because Emil only had one moment, and Gray didn't get to it. But there's a moment where he said he's jealous of Fira because she's marrying the king. <laughs> and no one in the party gets it. They're like, oh, you'll you'll get to have a bride someday. And he's like, that's not what I meant. Guys, I don't want a bride. He wants to be the bride, and I think that's adorable. Emil is sweet. I love lizards. Jelly wants to have a gecko. Every time I go to the pet store, she looks at the geckos, and she just wants one. I always make the elves, but I like the lizard characters. I think they're cool. like the way Square does LGBT content. Like, I endured it in Life is Strange, and I'm enduring it now. Sleep well? Sure. It just feels good, and the way they did it. And your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devil and Popola. Very well. No, we need to do the weapons. I need to figure the weapons out. How much gold do I have? <laughs> Too much fucking gold. I don't need it for anything now. There's three weapons. And they're all... What my mom's, mom's diary. diary. I have not heard you speak much about your mother. She got the black scrawl and died when I was little. My apologies for bringing it up. It's alright. I can barely remember her face anymore. This is the only thing I have left of her. Reading it helps remind me of when we were still a family. I see. But the final entries get a little... strange. In what way? Well, here. Take a look. I should have saved! Oh, it saved for me! Thank you, game! You realized I was doing a stupid thing. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, like, it was one of the classes I wanted to try, but I also liked the Kajats. Kajats? Saying that wrong? It's been a while since I played fucking Skyrim. <laughs> like, eight years since I played Skyrim. Oh my god, Skyrim's old. I not realize Skyrim's had so many versions, but it's not a new game. Like, I played Skyrim before I got together with Brute. Kajit. Kajit. Thank you. I was like, in my head I could see how it was spelled, but my brain was like, no, 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 no. I just can't believe that game is so old. Say there. I mean, I've been playing the the Elder Scrolls series since I was a kid, because my mom liked them. My leg, cat. All off the couch. 
remember when did Skyrim come out? I don't remember. Because I didn't play it right off the bat because I didn't have an Xbox. So once I got an Xbox, which was like right before the PS4 came out. That is that's a I would never forget that date. Yeah, I, I think I played it in I think I played it the year after that. No, my mom had already passed away, so it was 2013-2014, which was like a couple- I met Brute like directly during that, but I know that I played Skyrim before I met him. It was like right around that one year time span. Can you not hear me? I bet. I bet that is a great date. I never actually beat the game because I got so distracted by side content. <laughs> like, I had Why the walkthrough, which was, like, this like big. Nini. Sorry. Felt like I was dreaming or something. Oh, sleeping on one's feet is quite the talent indeed. What is this voice? Who does now, this voice? There's the door. Right. Let's go. I'm sorry. That sounds like Iron Bull from Dragon Age. Who does... What? What happened to his voice? Who does that voice? Um, I mean, I'm not complaining. Look at this outfit. Like, the mask is a bit much, but like... This was originally DLC. This was originally DLC in the original game. It's not DLC, obviously, now. I need to look this up because I'm gonna fuck up the weapon somehow. <laughs> and I don't want to miss them. What was that? Things happened. Yeah, see I just bought the physical- I was really into buying physical guides for like maps because I really wouldn't use it for side quests. I literally just did it for like the maps and stuff because I really liked having maps. Like I never actually used one Final Fantasy guide for anything but finding the chests. <laughs> And the codes, because I didn't like to find the codes in 10. Replicant. Ending. I don't like the shoulder guard so much, but I like that, like, he's, like, partially shirtless. Like, what happened to you? You went into a side quest and bam! You older. Like, no shirt. I'm just curious what the fuck happened to him. We went into a book! I'm trying to find the last weapons. So I just want to find out how to get these. Okay, here they are. But there's like three versions. Yeah. This is a DLC kind of version of Nier. This was like... I mean, it's not DLC now because it's part of the game. But like... It's just weird. I'm naming him Knocked on the final ending. No one can change my mind on that. Well, here they are. Fool's Embrace. Fool's Accord. Beat the enemies behind all three doors to receive each of the three weapons. Okay, so it just says beat the enemies behind all of the doors and you'll get the weapons? So I should automatically get the weapons. Wait, was I going the right way? Which door? It was probably this door that I was facing. I haven't looked at my words since I beat the game. Noctas! I could totally just name him that if it was not a <laughs> Words. I'll get my weapon first. I think that was the best attack power we've got. 
a good armor break. Better experience rate. Yes, please. Fair too. Not like yourself right here. I think. Oh wow, next to me. What do I have on you? Item drop rate. And more drain HP. <laughs> All the drain HP abilities. Right? Oh my god. That would be terrifying as a cameraman. I gotta put this back on because I used that for the last fight. I actually prefer. I guess, yeah. I don't know. Wish I had some friends. Oh my god. This music came out and it was like, this Kingdom Hearts? This is very Kingdom Hearts music, what's happening? Oh my god! Would you die? Oh my god! A bump in music, what the- What is this music? Yay! I'm not mad at it, it just doesn't fit. Like, if you put this in a Kingdom Hearts game, I would have no questions. If you put this in, like, a Final Fantasy game, no questions. I have questions in this game. Like, it's bumping. Oh, it's the main song, but like, techno. It's like, it's a meal song, but techno version. That's so weird. It's a weird game. Because I started quests, but I didn't feel like finishing them. It got rid of the... No, it didn't. Okay, it didn't. Alrighty. Aw! Have fun, Puffer! <laughs> no, she's gonna make you go get it. You gotta get it. Throw it, and then go get it again. Have fun. Okay, so it didn't make it uncompletable. But I have to restart the quest. That's really lame. Oh, I'm not gonna do the quests. Fuck it. Hmm. There will be other playthroughs, maybe in the future. Even if it matters.
I didn't get the weapon. Oh, maybe it's not done. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? It's cool. It's like really neat. It's just so out of place. but I'm kind of loving it. of the songs. Random combat. It has nothing to do with the story. <laughs> reason I have that. Fool's Embrace. That Fool's Embrace. The dragon's corpse brought death to the world, delivering unto it the power of magic. This 
single-handed. That, that's Angelus! Oh, that's a dragon guard a dragon! Can we get time sword? That would be so fucking wicked, bro. I wouldn't even care if it was bad. I would just want to use it because it's time sword. Stains the feet. Twist. I know the sand hurts. Ooh, I'm you from here because I'm not gonna fall in the fucking sand again. I probably will, but... <laughs> oh my god! Rude! <laughs> In the coffin. one way. It said three doors, though. One door. A boot? Experience? I want to go through the door. I want to get all the weapons. and follows me around. It's just the cutest thing ever. The apocalypse divided the world in two. One that knows not day and one which has never seen the light. You 
tell me it's forbidden after I do it, you bitch. Thirteen paths, the vessel's formed. We're talking about packs. That's freaking good. This game is like giving you like, this little part is giving you like a summary of everything that's happening. For the boxes. Yeah, there's stuff in them. You can't fool me, games. Yeah, I knew there'd be stuff in them. We have been shut in. I'm gonna hate this. I hate the magic things. of something inhuman. Machines, right? When we're talking about shades. I mean, shades are technically human. Without the form of a human. all the way in the distance. Hello, hello.
supplement. Okay. We have one more weapon, and we have them all. This actually took a lot less time than I thought. I thought this was gonna be like. Bot. The sky falls with the dragon, the world ends this day. Okay, so these weapons have got to be based off of Draken Guard, because every time you get a weapon, they give you a piece of the Draken Guard story. Oh my god, I love it! Oh my god, look at that! I don't like two-handed swords, but look at this! That's so neat! Oh my god, I hate two-handed swords! This one's not too bad, it's kind of fast. Not as strong as my actual weapon, though. <laughs> but I like the Draken Guard inspired weapons. That's a really cool feature. For making me happy over here. I can see now why it wants you to save. Death boys. Like, I haven't been hit by them because they're slow, but I take a lot of hits to kill them. to thaw my dinner for tonight. Yeah. Ready for later. I'm done streaming. better damage on these guys, I'll use this one. Plus it looks cool!
tattoos on him. I didn't even notice. Are you done with this one? I feel like they expect you to lose a lot of herbs because they give me like five after every round, but I'm really not using that many. The puppet priest collects the accursed prayers and polishes the vessel. <gasps> That's Dragon Guard too! My god. Oh my god, we're not gonna be fighting on this fucking platform, are we? Oh my god, it's a transition shooter! Dude, I can't! Dude, I can't! Drink it, go, what are you doing? What are you doing, Drinking Guard? Near, not Drinking Guard. What is this? Near! I feel like I'm playing Spyro. Spyro had parts that did this. Not Spyro. Near, what's happening? I got one. Oh, there you are. Okay, I can do other magic too. This doesn't really work that well. Very interesting. Samurai outfit. Cool. Curious to see this outfit, but you have to go back to the main. I might do it.
My soul. Not at level 33. But you know what? Fucking. Not even at level 30. I can do it. Oh, fuck it, I can do it. I'm. I. I. How does the memory is this song? Body. They're not hitting that hard. So I should be fine potion wise. Pretty good damage. Okay. He does pretty good. Harder, but that wasn't too bad. That's all. Use. Push vessel. Oh, gone. why they were like, hey, don't do this yet. <laughs> Bulls are hard, fours are hard to fight in this, oh my god.
the healing items. This isn't about that. Kind of annoying with the bull, but boars. I keep calling them bulls because they're charged. All is paid, all is sacrifice. Shut him. My God, you ran up on me like a thief. watching your health, I don't think it matters a couple levels under. As long as you watch your health. They drop so many health items. Yes, I, I know. It seems we've been shut up. No, no. What else would we have been? 
good, but not shut in. Oh my god. I never would have been able to tell that on my own. I do like fighting mobs in this game. Like, just mobs without the magic. Just mobs. Run in action. It's nice. Ah, oh, you wanted to make a lot of you in one room. Focus on one. Dodge the others. the fight that's hard is being able to see what's happening. Or not, though. Oh, I do not bring back the vessel. Do not bring back the future. Do not bring it back. I'm gonna look at my spears for a second. Holy shit, game. Come on. It's cool looking, but it's so not as good as what I've got on. It is neat. Because Route B doesn't actually take that long. But I have all the weapons. I can just straight on focus. Hot.
kind of hurts. I do way more damage to the big boy. Ah, uh, that has. <laughs> That hits from a really long distance. <laughs> hey, oh, Jumpy. Well, we're still going. Can <laughs> we be done with this now? I got all the weapons. I don't want to be here anymore. originally DLC to get the last weapons. I have the last weapons. Look at him though. Look at this boy got older in the DLC. How do I jump down? And they decided to play techno music for the weapon area, so that's fun. It was good. I like the ending A. I do have questions. about how it becomes automata. But I'm sure one of the other endings will answer that, hopefully. Because you don't play as Kane, it's just kind of made you read it. Okay, when you die. died right there. I hope that was your death. Now I can see why they wanted me to be a couple more levels! Not even magic. It's okay, I don't mind taking extra time to kill things. Yeah. What a fall. <laughs> ah! Hello. 
Sick boy. Ah, oh, hey! Hot! Oh. Ruda! Oh, my god, you're Ruda. Oh, my god, you are very strong. Hold on. Don't touch me. in a recycled world. We go home now, I'm done. I don't want to do any more of this. I got all three weapons. Done. Done, 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 done. Done, thank God. Is that all? Huh? Is that the final entry of the diary? It seems that way. 
Interesting. You figure anything out? I fear not. Yeah, I'm not surprised. No. Hunter person! What? We're only doing plot now. Wait, is there anything upstairs? No. Plot. Let's go do plot. Let's fucking save. I have no healing items now. Fine. kind of thought you'd never talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village. It's going to be so hard to sit through things I've already seen. Pretty much, yeah. But look. Okay, she wanted to talk to the child lord. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. You don't need to apologize. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry. All right. A lot of these scenes are going to be exactly the same. For yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh. Right. You know about the Lost Shrine. The temple where I was first? That's it. Oh. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So take... A, a boat. boat? Yes. But it took a lot longer than expected. I also asked them to provide a... The ferryman will let you... That should make it easier awesome. for you. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> All right. I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. We're just probably gonna do straight plot because I wonder if, if I can get through all the plots really fast if I can get through Rap B in one day. Now that I have the weapons, I don't really need to do anything else. Ooh, tired. The path above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat. I know. Okay. Excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. Good job. Oh, yeah. Huh? Thanks. Still, it's not. Anyway. It... I'm gonna go straight for it. The Lost Shrine's up ahead. Just pass. As well as the sh. Let us make. In case. Well, I can go run around everywhere else, re-grab all the pieces, see what changes. There's already been a few extra, like, stuff for Kane, so I'm curious if Route B is ending. Oh! A new scene! Can a pun go unappreciated? Oh no!
full, these little different cutscenes that are new. <laughs> that was a good one. Pyro games are fun to speedrun, but I'm also too OCD to speedrun them. I'm gonna try to speed. I've spent two hours just getting to this part! Oh my god! I spent an hour reading! And an hour doing the fucking weapons. Ah, I didn't realize how much time it went by. <laughs> that means we just have to do the plot a little bit quicker. junkyard anyway. That's part of the plot. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade this spear because it's the best weapon that I like. I'm gonna upgrade it. More cutscenes! Good! explained the humanity feature. You get to see the humanity in the shades, and I like that. They're gonna start pushing the- these are souls, guys. They have humanity. <laughs> I like it, though. I like seeing these cutscenes. Ancient I don't think they would have made sunshine. this- We finally get to bathe in blood. Don't talk to me. <laughs> you can hear her demons, her shape so I can barely stand it. No one else can hear this? She just flopped off that block. You get to hear the shape part of her talking now. That's so cool. Game's being neat. Stop being so neat. No songs now! You made me do all the puzzles again. So rude. I want to do the puzzles again. <laughs> Is all too easy. We've been here before, buddy. A lot higher in level, though. God. This point.
game. The puzzles were annoying to do the first time around. I haven't gotten any better. that, but I'd rather just do it right. your garden variety shades. Their bodies aren't fully functional. Say, I've heard of this. A cursed area where incomplete shades gather. This changes so much about the game. Like getting input about shades via a shade. So much easier to kill. I'm zooming, guys. I'm also killing them because I want the experience. It's just so easy now. I need a shit ton of experience to even level up. means they're not worth much experience, but doing it anyway. Oh my god, I slaughtered her! I also need the words, so it's probably a good idea to keep them. But I slaughtered his soul. God. Strong. Too powerful. And I'm gonna make myself more powerful by making my weapon stronger. Because that's a good idea. I mocked you, betrayed you, all because you went gestalt before the change was complete. So, 
Gretel hated the shades because they took their souls out before it was time? There was a time to take your souls out? I don't feel like that's... that. There's no good time for that. going to sleep outside with you. Why? I can't accept that you aren't allowed in the village. It's stupid. So you're staging a protest? Have fun. Don't waste your time. But it just feels wrong. Well, that's really nice of you, but you still don't have to stay out here with us. Emil. You've got a super important mission. You can't sleep out in the rain. What if you catch a cold? Besides, I like camping with Kaine. Sometimes we sit around take the fire shortcut. and tell stories. Or An image. Emil, that's enough. I got a fucking image to maintain. Surrounded by a mob of helpless puppies. Why are you calling the puppies? Five puppies. They are chains. Why are we calling them puppies? They don't look anything like puppies. the shades. Or is this Hansel? No, this is Gretel. Okay. What's going on? There's dozens of them! He made a friendship with them. That's what's happening. These are creatures of the darkness. Lure them to the light. Pathetic to the end, I see. Aim for that statue. It's the leader. <laughs> I am not their leader. It is I who rely on them. Oh my god. I've always loved when they do extras like the extra endings because you get so much more story stuff. I'll oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, you're funny. I'm gonna start crying. Stubborn son of a bitch. Damn it, damn it, damn it! 
Hey there, Sunshine. You ain't feeling bad at this week, are ya? Ain't no turning back now. You got a lust for blood. Embrace the slaughter. All we know is the thrill of battle. Ain't that right, Kine? Eh? God, these fights go fast now. Are you all right? Kaine! I fear there is little we can do for her. No! Kaine! What is happening? <laughs> it's all over for you, sunshine. Kaine! Kaine! Kaine, if you transform again, we'll just stop it again. As many times as it takes. I don't care how tough it is. We're gonna get you back. I like sleeping outside because I'm with you, Kaine. I'm able to ignore my appearance and keep going because of you. I'm weak and I'm sad and I'm lonely, but you make me strong. You're my friend and I need you. So don't you dare leave me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop crying. And thanks. I'm all right. Over there. is this? Hmm? It's me. It's got some kind of writing on it, but I don't know what it says. How remarkably useless of That's popular.
It's a cipher of some kind. Can you determine it? I think this is the key to unlocking the shack. Here, take a look at- I wrote down yeah. all the- This all from the lock. is called the oh. Stone Guardian. Given that you found it in the lock, there are spaces here for sacrifice. The Law of Robotics, the Memory Tree, Loyal Cerberus, the Law of Robotics, prob- And the Memory, but as for sacrifice- Not a problem. Hmm? If we want to fill in the words, we- Oh, splendid. Yes, let's go on a murder rampage. Cheats. It's a dangerous- Yeah, well, Yona's an even- But how can you even be sure that she's- Because she is! Right? The junk heap in the forest of myth, yeah? I'm on my way. Please be careful. I did the junk heap first, so I can oh, do my weapon. Listen. The villagers know how much they've sacrificed. I'll hurry them along the best I can. I'll try. a lot of new text logs. Popola said we might be able to find a key fragment in the junk heap. Perhaps we can find a clue. Yes. You can tell me how he lost his arm, because the last playthrough didn't really show how the brother lost his arm. Saved. Oh well. I'll save when I get to the junkyard. So the child has a robot working with it.
first route because he didn't really talk that much. This is a catchy voice actor. This is Robbie Damon. I can actually hear it now. A little. Military defense robot, P-33. My god, it's so catchy now, it hurts. Love it. You are an intruder. You must be eliminated. Error. There is something leaking from your eyes. to make me hurt. It's not like you give me a choice not to kill them. Man, there's gotta be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh no! Huh? Look out! Huh? 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 Jacob! Oh god, this can't be happening! Jacob! Jacob! No! of the intruders caused the structure to fail. They should have proceeded with more caution. One intruder has perished. The junk heap. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. 
You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. Wait! Yes? I recently got my... I thought you might... Don't we already... Shh. These things happen the second time around. <laughs> I just broke the... <laughs> These things happen... Shh, shh. It's Ralph B. Shh. Yeah, it's pretty. Can you repair? I can repair it. If you'll fix. <laughs> I'm gonna need some. only the real big enemy. Also, here's the. You got. I'm gonna need only the real big. You got. But what can I help you with? I did my way up again. set up a lot. Put eagle egg. Come back. Technically don't need to do it. Oh, I do, okay. I think I have to do the best. Free alloy. Shame about the older lad. Can I go back? It's but a child. I already possess it. giant ones that are like in the ocean look exactly like him but red <laughs> I'm gonna feel bad for killing this guy in a hate you game Pretty impressed. I'll start up great, and since you did me a fate. Well, this is gonna take no sense in you waiting around. That would be great. This appears we have some. Popola said we might be able to. You will forgive me. Most of me.
just a dream. Yeah. Truly a nightmare I hope never to experience again. Wasn't that bad. Here we go. The divine. It's a legendary. Did you investigate? Not really. And why? Well, we're not. And I don't know. Weird. We're gonna go to the tree. You don't follow tradition at all. We are the grass, the trees, the wood. Hmm. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Vice. As if Grimoire Vice. Hang on. I don't think it's done. Is the dark entity that governs all memories. May the words form themselves to your liking. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. This is new. I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. Mm. 
funny, funny pun. Let's see if the jump. I mean, it's only been like five seconds, but sure. Routes go really fast when all you're doing is the fucking story. Have a letter. He's done a lot for us. Off to the junkie. Off to the Hey there. Your weapon is ready to go. Great. You know... You were going to say? I need to ask... This is a all the robots. To a... Matters are rather... It's my mission. It's... I don't care about money. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little... A shade has joined forces with a robot. There's a shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided? We're gonna kill it. I start, I start to wonder, because, like, the mom and the little kid shade, mom only went after them to protect her kid. The kid's only doing it to defend himself. He hasn't actually gone after any human. Do shades just kill to protect themselves now? 
Like, was there a point in time where shades didn't hurt anyone? They just existed. And then he... In shells. And bees just started killing him. Oh yeah, I never unlocked this up. Shades just automatically attack. Later, but I'm gonna check. that way. Gotta be the other elevator. Totally know where I'm going. Definitely the right way. Yes.
tell this is so easy now. I've never heard of a Shade living with a machine. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. I have a theory that the Shades are the reason the robots have, like, souls. In Automata. Going the long way. Okay, going the long way, absolutely.
exterminating in 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 this thing can transform Oh, did I defeat that boss in a really fast time? You killed your own hey, brother by running off dangerously, but whatever. <laughs> just wait, you got just leave it to me. Look, we get it, okay? Hatred and madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he... Revenge is a fool. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Popol has found some information. Very well. It appeared the creature was actually issuing orders to that mechanical... He wasn't minimum. issuing orders. Do you think the Shade had a reason for what it did? Actually... Look, it doesn't matter what a Shade is or isn't thinking. All that matters is that we kill every last one of them. Right. Sure. The idea of a Shade trying to protect a robot is goddamn absurd. Still, you guys should be careful. What do you mean? If the shade inside me ever takes over, I'm probably going to attack you. That's not gonna happen. You are no shade. The lad is correct. You are many things, hussy, but a shade is not one of them. Shades, for example, do not come equipped with such foul and scurrilous mouths. Yes, they do. You just don't understand what they're saying. She does. How about I cram your face up your own asshole, book? Don't worry, Kaine. If your shade ever takes over, I'll stop you. You will, will you? <sighs> Thanks, Emil. Uh, 
not quite lost. Learned anything new about the shop? You know, I was just. You remember the. That depressing ship. They sent you a letter. Blah, I just blah, got blah. this letter. For Sacrifice. That's right. I've. You're amazing. I'm afraid Grim. What do you mean? <sighs> The area has been shut off from the world, and now they're going to give a background to this one because this one like sucks in people. But they exchange information about the Shadow Lord. I agree. You're overthinking it. I won't get Yona back by just there are shades there. Oh dear. Well, if that's the way, try speaking with the chief. I cannot fathom that village setting up a mercantile. They must have truly opened their minds. Oh, what? Ah, you distracted me. Yeah, I have my doubts. Busy! Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaine? Home? That place is a shithole. <laughs> be so nervous, Kaine. We're gonna see more about her past. You. Going back to Harry. Taken care of. Worry about That's protecting her. yourself. Oh, no. It's home to so many terrible little memories, isn't it, Kaine? <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! We do not desire 
We do not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live with humans, then we can continue to live peacefully. But that young man will come. So the villagers were shades and they wanted to just keep living. So that proves that shades aren't naturally violent. They're choosing violence to stay alive. Yes, the young man will come. He will kill us all. Women and children included. Which makes sense because they already basically said the shade is the human soul separated from the body. So no need for them to be violent without cause. So they choose violence to protect themselves, which makes sense. What should we do? What can we do? Hello? It's all over. We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. As cheerful as ever, it seems. You're the one who wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. What the hell is going on here? It may be faster for... Let us ask her... something about so you know about the letter hmm. Maybe. Ah, which is it oh uh, and if i'm a you could say that ah i've heard the rumors indeed our right every every last one everyone 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 vice beware this man is a shade the whole it's village is. I figured as much. The village probably has been for a while. You guys sure are taking your goddamn time. A thousand apologies. We were distracted by the local welcoming party. The village is in shades. We have people that aren't shades or pretty I much. I love it. New. Yeah. <laughs> if they were new, they were living with shades, but they didn't care. The villagers are possessed. But not all of them. Some are still human. So be careful.
to abandon my own sister. Kaine, what's going on? Don't be fooled by this lady. She's a shade. <laughs> One of them now. I don't care what she is. Yeah, they didn't care. She's my they probably sister. knew they were living with shades. Are under because to them you are. Understanding, but other people seem to be like, nah, protect the shades. I mean, they were trying to live in peace till we fucking came here and said we were gonna kill them all. Beast of shade as well. That thing sucked up the villagers. No! If we keep this up, we're gonna kill them all! We can't let that happen! Thank <laughs> you. 
weak point is located around the back. Yeah. Try attacking it from above. Let me I'll jump. try to pin it down. Hi. Emil! Emil! Uh, I'll, I'll keep it busy. You should be able to attack from behind. Go around and get it. Please, hurry! Emil can handle this. We must circle behind the creature at once. They go the wrong way again. Up the ladder, Jesus. Strike it in the eye. What? Are you there yet? Working on it. To forget it. it is escaping to the inner level. I'm coming. Gotta catch my breath. Careful, Emil. It won't help anyone if we lose you here. God damn it! You beat the hell out of that thing! How can it still move? Combined powers are beyond even my greatest suspicion. Come on! Help me take it out! Come on, he's gonna go. No. Emil, Emil, wait! Emil! He's gone. His instincts have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed. Ah, oh, fuck! This ain't good, sunshine! Our instinct. Yeah, because he's combined with his sister. Meals. Oh, we're getting some meal stuff. Oh, jeez. 
I thought that would have been next playthrough. experimented on kids, you all deserve the death that she gave you, okay? Poor meal. Looks heavy that much on your shoulders. <laughs>
killed innocent people. I killed them all. But you saved us. If it wasn't for you, I'll be dead. We owe you. this today. Brought B anyway. We had best be off. Yeah. I get like two le three levels. I think like three levels. It was tw level 29. has found some information very well. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the- I'm sorry, but it- I see. Well, can I- Hmm. Oh, how about this? Well, oh, yeah, he's been skipping out on work lately. A wedding. Thing. Can I ask you- Sure thing. This feels alarmingly familiar. Ah. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time. Hmm? I went the wrong way. Keep front is the other way. 
through the town. <laughs> no, it's okay, Jumpy. No worries. Rude. Whoa. This is my chair. Nope. No, Mama's finishing her stream. I'll come cuddle with you after. Okay, after I'm done. Promise. Is Jeffy. You never have to feel like you have to chat. Lurking is perfectly fine. I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. 
Huh? What's that? Giant ship crash? I'm curious how what Route C is gonna be since Route 2 gives the background for all like the bosses. Very curious. Silly. Feel a silly goober. I love you. Oh god. What's wrong? Oh hey, I remember seeing as we've I had a fight with my husband. Mm -hmm, yeah. But it's all I was saving up a bunch of That's oh, sure, I, I may have lost all right. <laughs> and here we go again. Uh, shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for- Really? Yeah, the guy took off. Hardly. There are... Anyway, I think he's from that village. I think his brother- Thanks for oh, yeah, the tip. I we had to run. This has a lot of running back Say. and forth. Yeah. to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Hmm. What was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? on this ship, maybe? <laughs> hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. That couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. feeling <laughs> well your cough seems better at least check it out I brought you some bread today <laughs> oh easy 
easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. A lot's changed since then. It's kind of nice when we find something to ask. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know, hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. Last time I did see him. I guess we could have just once. I would enjoy. Great quest. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. <sighs> ah, I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. You say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. I am wearing long sleeves and a dress. I am, I am, I am. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Mm -hmm. Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about uh, everything. Well, it was raining today. So, I think it's like 70 or 60 degrees outside. It's pretty chilly. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today. But, but also, I did bring you this shirt is see-through, which is why I'm wearing a dress over it, so it's not actually warm. It's like not wearing a shirt. But it keeps the straps from digging in. It's a very thin shirt. And important to say Fahrenheit, that's true. Here. It's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? What's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, if you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after he, spending he all this time in the dark, huh? He never put together that she was a shade. It's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound?
pay post? I'm sure as I just swung by to pick. Anyway, you here for? Uh, no, there's this couple who's old. <laughs> Still, that's pretty weird. I find it exceedingly. Any idea where she? That is the question. Actually, you know what? Not often something like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the boat. Hey, Louise. I brought your food for today. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? <laughs> well then, let's try this. Sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best you thing to put a spring in your step. You play a fucking invisible instrument. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Yeah, we're still on B. We're getting towards the end oh, of B. Oh, your voice is a bit rough there. Uh, I got them all. I got them all at the very beginning. The last three were part of, like, the little DLC gauntlet thing. So now I'm just going through the story. But you're actually... Huh. You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. She used to hum this same song a lot. Yeah, 100% weapons. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> hey, are, are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. <laughs> so many weapons! I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, Sunshine. You feeling it too? Yeah. Is it a shame? 61, oh no. <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just. That's a lot either I'm sensing way. a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good. 50. A lot of characters, too. Jeez. A shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Kaine. Emil. So much to do. My goodness. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come in. Sorry for this. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific... What is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get... Oh! That's so much work. So many weapons. I had enough of an issue just getting that 33.
We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Mm, nice. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put these planks. We can probably get it. I'm worried about whatever it is. I am prepared. As prepared can be, okay, game? So, were you able to write that letter? You know, now that I've taught you how. Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. First time we met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. <laughs> So, hey, I've been thinking. <laughs> How about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. Not into it, huh? Guess I should have figured. I'm sad to hear it, but it's your choice, of course. Yeah, oh, that's good. At least it's not too time consuming. Floor's wet. Wait, is this blood? Oh dear. Are you period joke thing? I don't need it. That's true. That's true. Oh baby, next is definitely a little a bit smell. time consuming. We got something real nasty nearby, eh, hey, son? Come on, don't tell me you ain't picked up on it yet. You of all people gotta know what this smell means. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right? You really shouldn't. Hey, I've got an idea. Sure. Sounds good. The meal is on the cake. Guys, go do your thing outside. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other li we require a key in order to Look there, on the floor. There's still some more. Wait, did you- I did indeed. Perhaps she is the runaway we heard Is scared of ghost. Floating book don't like ghosts. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to. It was dropped. Perhaps he absconded to the. Let's keep moving. Oh, what was that? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. This barrel's been knocked. Surely it was toppled. Wait. The missing child left what? Man. It was right and what the? I'm getting the keys. The white hat. That's weird. Oh, I demand you see. I didn't even say it. In any case, we. Did you see that light on the other? A shame we cannot investigate. Hang on. I. A muscle man!
Is that what? A hidden room. How delightful. seem to be any shades around at least fortunate for us now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk the white track wait sound was it's this is a voice pipe which means the girl is in hold a moment <sighs> yes onward and uh this little lantern has brought us quite far hasn't it yeah and the light it gives off makes me feel i don't know safe somehow well oh damn the hell is this smell dead bodies we've discovered this before Another app? Just how many apples does? Let's keep certain. A uh, vice? Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I can't see a thing down here. I suspect we. A lantern got away from me during. That's it. We found the lantern. About time. Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... God damn it. Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed. I won't let them... That's enough, lad. the body the shells works hey there you two hey did we ever but then we heard a bunch of noise come yeah sorry about that a little yeah good that's jeez you seem really down in the tell me kaine that it's on the floor above us i feared as much That smell is getting ripe. How you feeling there, sunshine? Not great. Can't you tell? This would be the final yes. room. Yes, oh the my god, yes. I'm obviously gonna go outside game. We saw old lad. This is a lo there. Oh man, this shade is nuts. I think I'm in love. You can feel her power hanging in the air, and she ain't even trying yet. <laughs> Things are finally heating up, huh? Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, 
Oh, hey. Wait, you're the... Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on... Hey, so this... Is... The girl is... I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, well, how exactly Not does with bandages, one deal let me with tell you. Not with bandages. Time of the month. So, sorry. Sorry. Stay the hell away from her. She isn't... <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. Actually, being able to understand what they say hurts so much. Kind of. Emil! We'll figure something out. The two of them will be fine. The ship is collapsed. Very much aware of that. Shit! They're in the way! Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Glad you two made it out in one okay. piece. Chair, you booger. Uh, not on the table where the cards are. <laughs> Don't need to get it. Good job, little girl. Yeah, we're good. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pers- We should use the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in it you need. What on earth? Why is 
of this shade being hurt by the sun. That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! Oh, listen! It's singing! This thing actually thinks it's a person! <laughs> I don't know where the singing lessons came from, but I do know it's sure as hell trying to eat us! Aim for the tentacles with faces on them! Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. Did we get it? Oh, hell. That thing's huge. such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Hey, the guy from before has collapsed on the beach. That shade's got some kind of hard on for it. We should take him hostage. Shut your yap. I'm not in the business of using my blades on people. This thing turning its body into spears and shooting them at us? songs until we get murdered. Is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues.
guy's important to you, isn't he? Thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! Oh, I actually was able to stop it this time. Oh, it's not gonna let me. I think so. I feel like that was really It's part of the story to get hit by it. What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. We can never be together. You disgust me.
thanks. You've all done so much for me. I don't have the word. We all knew townspeople, but I never imagined I was taking... The fault lies with that foul... I... <sighs> all right, well, there's someone else. Fair enough. Hey! Uh, yeah. Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he all right? Come on, say something all right. Your husband... You tracked him down, but... No. It can't be true. That big idiot thinking about, about me you. all the time. Oh, God. This can't be happening. <laughs> it saddens this old... Do not let it burden you. hell's this, Sunshine? A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade A chicken scratch! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? I think our friend's gonna wake up soon. Let's go. What it did say. You're not gonna tell me what it said? I'm very curious. Hey, Kanye. Yeah? When you were threatening that shade on the beach the other day, how did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> Alright. You... Hey, there's half shades. She can understand shades. Come on. Even... Out, knowing that the shade, her own shade talks to her... Pretty easy to figure out that she could understand shades, having one in her. Shades on the coast, the fairy... That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of... He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. Still, you may... Have you any new information? I'm still working on the decryption. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog. It must be pretty calm. Well, you're our last... I will. By the way, I was... Thanks. Thank you. I need that mail. Oh, when the... Since the ferryman was missing... I'll make sure they know to... Gotcha. So you let me do things for free, but lost. The world let other villagers get on the turn. boat for free? Or is it just me?
Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation. Let's go to Facade. Save when I get to Facade. <laughs> Tell me where you're going. when the dragon fell with this turn to sand. Does it not strike you as curious to find wolves in the desert? Should it? They normally live in forests, yes. Deserts would seem to hold little sustenance for them. Well, I could certainly guess what they've been eating. We hear your days of congrats. Forgive my pride. Hold on. Fira? You have grown into a fine example of womanhood. Um, Kaine's gonna want to see this. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Your Royalness. Congratulations on your wedding. Hug. Um, I'm sorry Kaine's not here, but. Of course. How could we refuse? Oh, 
probably would have left Fear alone if his people hadn't been hunting him. To think they even have rules. What's it to you? Kaine? What is the matter? I don't like this. Weddings are... We were invited here by the king, remember? Sure, but what about if... This city isn't like our villages. And since there isn't a specific rule about you... I... Yeah. Will you at least procure a new... Keep talking, Book. trouble getting to sleep something bothering you no the opposite in fact I'm just so excited about the wedding that I bet it's gonna have streamer I'm sort of jealous I wish I was Fira you'll find a nice bride someday Emil huh oh right uh... <laughs> you must be tired and he's not tired you know exactly what he was saying you dummies a husband not a bride okay <laughs> I don't have that. Yeah, that's not exactly it. Everyone needs to blow off steam and celebrate once in a while. Indeed, your people have earned a moment of rest and respite. Kodeta. Plus, you want to make Fira happy, right? Anyway, life is better when you have someone to fight for. Weddings are the best. There's flowers everywhere. Everyone's happy. It's just great. I'm kind of jealous. Aren't you jealous, Kaine? Mm. Oh, come on. Anyway. 
I would rethink this course of action, King. Ahead lies a battle you cannot win. The king's grief is strong. Yeah. I'm guessing he'll run off to take. Will we let him go like that? Of course not. Then we must prepare. It will not. I know. I think we're fine. Are you ready for? Yeah. We're not doing it for you, dumbass. It's for Fira. 
Kaine, you can't... If this is indeed the plan... Ferua. Kaizomu Aku. Zergan Uts. To... Kore de... Sato... Arte... Arte wa Toyari la... Din. Fia Gikita Tato Sada... Kira... Din. Yori wa Soto... Fia... To... Din. Andadose! Tentoshken! You... Kaizomu Dik. Anda... Rua... Shika... あんだ、いえ、フィア、ロテとやりかきそできた。と食いてげるだ。うら、ラール。ペラ、と、カイザムで。カイザムと、アイト。フィア、アイザムで。フィア、ジュレセキタとトダ。ガッチクルト。階段ゼスタルペラ。重たいリスラ関係かけて下座れ。アルムキエルトチギサンってきた。アルム。浮き汗。くゆりえ。押して。切る立ちエククギリスアガイ。カイザムチ、ツストジ、お別れたしゆりや。こうだな。ち、よりうたい。<笑> other for the same exact reason. For the loss of their people to care for. Kuri, Zerugan Tatsutokli Ite Kutai. Forget it. It's for Fira. Let's move. Seems like we don't understand the battle lord, what he's saying. to be targeting the king. Sit good up, Kaizam. Kaizam de Kaori! Such dogged, unwavering defiance. Why do these beasts hold so much rage? Build their... their path? That's fine. The smaller wolves are not infected with shades. As for the leader, if even one shades here, then I have to kill all of them. He seeks the King of Passad. Get I 
You must do it. I believe that young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. Cool. Of course. Does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king. And now you must do all you can. Is that another infernal rule? The poor king. This is all the shade's fault. Mm. Well, <laughs> now that we're seeing the actual story, it's kind of both sides' fault. This is the last. Now we can find the sh We certainly can. Hold on, you man. I'm on. Can't take the hate to say it, but oh, we have to walk. I never. I don't guess I never tried to take the boat last time. We should return to Popola and see if she has any final words for us. I don't remember walking back either. Taking the boat back last time. What is it? So, we can finally save Yona now, huh? It would appear that way. What is it, lad? You've quite the pensive look on your face. Listen, I need your advice. It's about Kaine and Emil. This upcoming fight with the Shadow Lord is gonna be rough. And while I'd do anything for Yona, I'm not sure it's fair to drag the two of them into this. Are you truly worried about such a thing now, after all our merry little band has been through? Hey, the fuck's this hot garbage you've been spewing? Someone's been eavesdropping, eh? Kaine, Emil, look, I just... Wanted to leave us behind? Why, so we'd be safe? Fuck that. Kaine's right! 
You accepted me. You told me we'd be together no matter what happens. Now it's time for us to return the favor. Don't make me start talking about loyalty and debts and all that. You know I hate mushy shit. But... If it makes you feel better, we're not doing it for free. After we rescue Yona, we're totally gonna call in a favor of our own. Are you? We're going on a journey to cure Kaine's possession and restore my body. It's gonna be tons of fun. Just think of all the delicious local foods we can try along the way. I'm gonna eat way more than my fair share. So you better get ready to pony up. <sighs> Thanks, you two. We're gonna rescue Yuna. I swear it. how relatively simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. It is almost as if someone deliberately set us on this path. You're overthinking again, Vice. But... Uh... Is he... I don't care if it's a trap. Yuna's waiting for me and I'm going. I see. You're really gonna do it? The whole village is buzzing, you know. They say you're gonna go rescue Yona. I guess it's really happening, huh? I'll bring her back. I promise. Um, about that. Yeah? Nothing. Never mind. Coppola just loves to worry. Anyway, you be careful. Yes, do be careful. Thanks. Change anything if you guys just told me right then and there. Good. Angry at me? there. Are we ready? Let's all make it back alive. It's a plan.
Such an ominous sight, and yet I find it strangely nostalgic. Yeah. I turn back and now the path. I get. I know. End of game. I asked, why did human the hell is I believe pass yes. I feel to who to whom I asked, why did he you must I answer I ask how can I answer I ask I answer very you are a you may well then, it seems the way is open. It's the twins from your village. Popla. Hey, any chance you'll just go back to the village? This is a very dangerous place. Even if you can find Yona here. How did you get it? We're here to rescue. No dice, huh? No, I suppose not. We didn't want to fight you. Were you really? Really didn't want to. Devil! What's happening? Sorry, this fate was predetermined. Still, we spoke to truth. We really wanted to avoid this if possible. We were hoping to put it off for a hundred years or so. Until the next generation came along. What are you talking about? Are they shades? I don't think so. It's a lie! I don't believe it! Yeah. We never thought you'd grow to be this powerful. This is madness. Why do you block our path? You have no cause to speak so with us, Grimoire Vice. You are a traitor. we can. The power came from us in the first place. You were simply loaned a small portion of it. Vice! Are you alright? Why are you guys doing this? Why are you siding with the shades? The answer to every riddle lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. Shadow Lord? So you've been on his side this whole time? You must search for that answer yourself. You've got to face your own truth now. 
Please, enter the Shadow Lord's castle. Devola and Popola are fighting us. Yes, they do seem to be putting us through a great deal of... You okay, Vice? How odd. For long years, my mind and tongue have been my greatest assets. But now the latter seems to be... Well... Vice? Do not look at me like that. I am Grimoire Vice. I am Perfect Wolf. I think I hear a waltz. It certainly is a grand affair. Bunch of dancing bastards. They're all shaped! <laughs> Stop coming! I'll open the next door. Cover me! Horse! Hmm? Oh, right. Protect the hussy, yes? Good plan. Let's go. <laughs> God 
damn no good bullshit bastard! Open the fuck up already! Ugh! Got it. Kylie, look out! Forgiveness, asshole. Kaine? some shit and move on, all right? Interesting. Oh, how very interesting. <laughs> Damn shit. Oh, dear.
but I can't get it open. Attack incoming! The entrance is locked too. It seems we are in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> oh, no further. Tedo to chi iru to te. Tedo chi ase yori. Kitto kitto da. Ana peru wa to shiden chi useki o. Ira ko ku. Ha ha ha. Ya de. What are you doing here? Saruri to shita. You are correct. Yeah, I'm not the sunset. Ruari, the dead But it off already. Let's go. Kaine. He's fighting for you. And for Fira. Don't let him die for nothing. My friend.
Oh, look. You may- We've been waiting for- Why are you doing- It began. Humanity. Finding its- <laughs> Do you still not remember? Then let's give you- Vice! I- Devola. All of us. Every person standing in this room. What are you saying? You still don't get it? You aren't human. So then humans... No. They still live on. Each shade is a twisted ra Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you... Wait. Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that... Please don't be angry with us. Our endless existences have a single... You have your own motives. Your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolishness. <sighs> Sorry. We're the same. Tools in the hands of a master. No. I'm nothing like you. souls are missing and yet somehow our tears still work it's kind of weird sorry sis I love you devil devil don't you go no no I can't be alone No 
stopping ever. The bridge! Blast! I've got an idea. young, I... I hated my eyes. And now that I'm older, I hate what my body has become. But there's something else there now. Something like pride, you know? I mean, without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil. For so long, all I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Now get going, okay? Emil. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. Emil! Emil! <gasps> Emil! You jackass, get back here! Emil! Oh dear. Kaine's so unstable, and Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. Well, I guess they'll just have to learn. I... I think it's really cool that they made him say the character's name. Like, it's just I him, him saying the different letters and then sticking again. it together. Oh, really cool. I want to see all of you again. Just one more time. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to die.
Let's go. Yola! This ends here. Strike hard. Hold nothing back. How can a mere tool hope to stand against the Shadow Lord? Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you. You all right? Naturally. I am as fit as... 
Brother? Yoda. need someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. So this is the beginning of the very first part of the game. She version of Yona crying. and him. And she says she wants to see her brother. Yona's been possessed? This girl loves her brother too. Just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. The shade that possessed her is gone. Weiss, 
What's wrong? Freaking me out here, Vice. What are you doing? strong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why, to stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your side. You are an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that. Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. Well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. to live. Uh, it is okay. I, I was just uh, here. You can have this cookie. Don't worry about it, Yona. I'm already full. This again? That's what you said yesterday. You haven't been eating anything lately. <laughs> Come on, at least take half.
thanks. Thanks for always being there for me. Oh, here. I brought your hat. Thanks, Yona. Guessing what happened is, dying, he used the book to split their souls out of their bodies. Guess the shells just back. They didn't really explain that part. If the shells are like immortal, cause his shell ages. They just keep like aging till they die, and the shells reborn again. Oh, like two thousand years after that, the shells were in their thing. Is the credits.
日的。How he survives. Oh, wow, 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 that meal. Wow, that was crazy. I can't believe how well my sister's body holds up. <sighs> kind of hard to move when you're just ahead. I wonder where everybody is. I can't wait to see them again. But before that can happen, there's some stuff I gotta do first. Like finding a body. Or at least some legs. I sure hope Kaine and Vice haven't killed each other yet. I swear, you leave them alone for one minute. I'm curious the time difference between this and Automata. Like, how long was he alone? That there, and I might pick it. See if we'll pick it up tomorrow. I have a dentist appointment, so we'll see if I'm up to it tomorrow. Bye.